So uh, my presentation will be about uh, teaching mathematics at the uh, university level, uh, especially in uh, ma uh, prospective mathematics teacher education. So uh, uh, earlier th th there was almost no theory of uh, teaching mathematics at the uni university level. Uh, and uh, some uh, deep theories of mathematics education, say uh, <coughs> uh, activity theory in Vygotskian perspective, or uh, say cons uh, constructivism in Piagetian perspective, they were also developed uh, only for early mathematics education f uh, for children in primary school and uh, uh, a little bit at uh, secondary school. Uh, and uh, in recent years, uh, from uh, say uh, 90s of 20th century, uh, there was uh, adv uh, advanced mathematical thinking research uh, started, and uh, uh, works of such people as uh, say Dubinsky about Apple's theory and uh, some uh, <coughs> close theories. Uh, French uh, mathematics didactic and so on uh, uh, appeared. Uh, well, and uh, it seems that uh, uh, constructivist and activist theories uh, are not uh, uh, very well developed for uh, advanced mathematical thinking and maybe they are not so needed. Uh, earlier, uh, uh, for example, in Russian Federation, uh, it was uh, admit uh, uh, there was a, uh, uh, some no, people thought that uh, teaching mathematics at university level is uh, there were, uh, there would be no uh, no theory, no science, but it is only art. And uh, I think it is, uh, there is some truth in, in this, uh, uh, <coughs> in this uh, and so uh, in, my, uh, uh, in my presentation I will uh, show that uh, we, uh, we must use that. So uh, I <coughs> uh, uh, will uh, describe uh, the approach to uh, teaching mathematics at the university level that I call uh, concentrated teaching. And uh, it is based on uh, <coughs> uh, genetic approach to the teaching. And uh, uh, I think it would be enriched by uh, some uh, features that are characteristic for, uh, for art, for, for art and literature. <coughs> Uh, for uh, means of impact uh, to uh, to people in art and literature. <coughs> so, uh, uh, as I said, uh, this is uh, based on uh, genetic approach to the teaching. Uh, s uh, s some uh, words about genetic teaching. Uh, the genetic approach to mathematics teaching it integrates the educational and philosophical ideas of Leibniz, Disterweck, and uh, other people, the psychological discoveries of Piagetian and Vygotskian schools, as well as rich experience of practice in mathematical education. And the principle of a genetic approach in mathematics teaching requires that the method of teaching a subject should be based as much as possible on natural ways and methods of knowledge inherent in the science the teaching should follow ways of the development of knowledge. That is why we say genetic principle and genetic method. <coughs> uh, German theology, geologist and educator Lindner was probably the first to use the genetic principle as a method of teaching, but he used historical genetic uh, teaching uh, and uh, Disterweck used the expression genetic teaching. Uh, and he wrote that the formal purpose requires genetic teaching of all subjects that admit such teaching because 
that it's the way they are, have arisen or have entered the consciousness of the human. And uh, uh, <coughs> uh, also some great mathematicians and uh, mathematical educators as Felix Klein and André Poincaré uh, wrote uh, about uh, uh, approaches that are close to genetic approach to the teaching, but uh, 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 nevertheless, it was admitted uh, that in university mathematics teaching, uh, gen uh, genetic teaching is, uh, is uh, not applicable but, and uh, only strict logical uh, uh, teaching was uh, 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 was uh, <coughs> uh, good for university mathematics teaching. Uh, so uh, only uh, uh, in the, uh, uh, recent decades, uh, with the works of uh, Wittenberg and uh, Poya, and later uh, by the work of P Pierre Garcia, him Pierre himself with Garcia and uh, 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 Dubinsky, uh, the approaches th that are close to genetic teach, uh, teaching were uh, adopted uh, in uh, teaching uh, advanced mathematical <coughs> mathematics. Uh, so uh, we think that the uh, genetic uh, approach should be accompanied by several means constituting the method that we named concentrated teaching, it uses ideas connected with concentric teaching and multiple effect on students. The term concentrism, concentric teaching is not new. It was introduced in works of 19th century German educators and various authors have attached different meanings to it. The most common understanding is the following. The study subject is divided into parts and the later ones repeat and deepen previous ones to some extent. The most famous version of concentrism in the modern theory of education is the Spiral Curriculum by Jerome Bronner. Uh, we propose the new method of concentrated teaching that should not be confused with mere concentric way of teaching. Our method will consist of several uh, uh, nine substantial elements and only first two of them relate to the concentrism. And taking into account all above mentioned ideas, we consider expedient this spiral arrangements of the subject and in our opinion the requirement of the spiral arrangement of the subject can be con concretized in the form of two important substantial elements, preparation, anticipation first and the second repetition at a deeper, le deeper level and increase. Uh, uh, so uh, these elements, first preparation slightly modifying the classification of Zolkowski and Chiglov. Uh, they were uh, uh, literature, fiction, uh, theoretics. They wrote about literature, about novels, verses, and stories. And uh, they uh, wrote uh, many things about the impact to the readers. And uh, one can consider three types of preparation, the presentation, anticipation, and the refusal. As an example of the refusal element, a problem way of studying a theme can be helpful when students are presented with the fact of an absence of the theory for the solution of, of a problem and then the required is constructed in some way. Uh, the most interesting and fruitful of these elements is in our view anticipation. Indications of this element can be found in many classics of mathematics education. For example, Disterweck suggested roles close to this element distribute a material in such a manner that at each stage a pupil would be in a position to guess or definitely expect the next stage, indicate at each stage some elements of par or parts of the following material and not making essential breaks, cite certain elements from the future th themes in order to excite inquisitiveness of pupils, not satisfying it however fully. The demand to teach pupils to guess is put forward by George Poya. <coughs> Uh, repetition. Concerning repetition, note that one can speak not only about the repetition of those or other elements of a material, but also about the repetitions of the relations between objects at various levels in a mathematical discourse. 
For example, the relations between objects in the theory of finite dimensional for vector spaces in many respects are repeated in the general theory of linear spaces. And the relations between objects in the elementary number theory are in many respects repeated in the theory of polynomials. <coughs> Uh, the next uh, requirement is fundamentality. Disturbing wrote delay mainly on studying the basics. This rule refers to thoroughness and determines true success. Whoever does not lay the proper foundation, it's condemned to fix the gaps forever or must fear the destruction of the entire, entire building. Any superficiality and frivolous attitude to the real fundamentals of the subject inevitably avenge themselves. The next element is combination of functions. Uh, this, uh, th that means that the same methods, tasks, and ideas are applied in different places of the course or are considered from different angles and they carry different educational functions and uh, uh, economy. The combination of functions is successfully used in art when, for example, the same object simultaneously carries several meanings both substantial and compositional, and moreover, for example, symbolical. This requirement leads, uh, leads to the careful selection of examples illustrating various concepts. Thus, among groups, one of the best examples is the symmetric group S3, consisting of six different permutations of three elements, with the composition of permutations as a group operation. <coughs> Uh, the next uh, element is linkage. Uh, in German, is Verzahnung. Uh, this method developed in the 19th century by German di didacticians, and it is mentioned in Schochar Trotsky's book, The Didactics of Arithmetic. It consists of an interweaving of a subject from one topic to in into another. Uh, for example, uh, when considering the continued fraction with all elements equal to one, one can acquaint students with Fibonacci numbers and the golden section, and so on. Note that this method is uh, closely connected with anticipation. Uh, important means related to the arrangement of the contents of the composition are the following variation, the explanation of a theoretical concept by a series of different examples, or more importantly, the consideration of all major aspects of the subject. Such a comprehensive consideration was required also by Disterweck, splitting the content into smaller pieces, the requirement to break the material into small finished parts was also expressed by Disterweck. And contrast, for example, the less studied method consisting of the use of very fruitful questions of the form, how does concept of the figure A differ from concept B, and so on. There are also several requirements related to the impact on various channels of perception of the subject by students during the process of teaching. Concretization, enlargement, three ways of receiving information about the external, inactive, visual, pictorial, and verbal, symbolical, according to Jerome Brunner, multiple representation, individual style, surprise, and humor. We unite these requirements under one name, multiple effect. <coughs> So, uh, uh, I uh, show uh, once more these elements, preparation and anticipation, repetition, fundamentality, combination of functions, linkage, variation, splitting, contrast, multiple effect. <coughs> so, uh, these, uh, all these elements are uh, uh, close to some elements used in art and literature. Applications in the mathematical course design at the university. Note that many researchers argue that the methods of teaching mathematical disciplines in pedagogical universities should serve for the students, prospective teachers, as a source of didactical ideas, helping them to acquire modern didactical ideas, helping them to acquire modern, uh, modern didactical beliefs and skills, and in some sense as a sample for building their future perfect professional activity. This idea ascends to Disterbeck, who wrote, the instructor of prospective teachers should not use any methods of teaching except those that can be applied in their future work at school. <coughs> Very promising seems the idea of intertwining didactical component with mathematical courses. This idea was suggested by several authors, Eric Christian Wittmann, uh, Hans Christian Reichel, 
and earlier by George Poyer, these authors indicate that such integration of didactical elements into courses in higher mathematics should be implicit rather than explicit. Thus, we aim not only at improving mathematical knowledge of our students, but also at changing their views of mathematics and, math and mathematics education. Consider how these elements are used in the construction of the, pro the program of the, our course, uh, Algebra and Numbers Theory. Uh, there are some examples uh, uh, th that we used throughout the whole course. Triangular numbers uh, used in proof by induction, number theoretical functions and for perfect numbers, Pascal's triangle, Fibonacci numbers in Pascal's triangle, continued fractions, golden section, congruence classes in partitions, equivalence, equivalence classes, right and left cosets by subgroups, cosets of a normal subgroup of an ideal in ring, uh, groups, rings, and fields of congruence classes, finite examples of these algebraic systems, ideals, quotient groups, and quotient rings, permutations in transformations of finite sets, determinants, symmetrical polynomials, symmetrical groups, especially as three, uh, as I mentioned above, finite groups, non-abelian groups, subgroups, Cayley's theorem, normal subgroups, and subgroups that are not normal, cosets of normal subgroups and of subgroups which are not normal, the roots of the unit uh, in complex numbers, cyclic groups and subgroups solving equations of the third degree, matrices, non-ambulant groups, subgroups, normal subgroups, non-commutative -commut rings, subrings, ideals, linear algebra, and so on. And uh, the, the important means linkage is connected to anticipations and also promotes multiple effect. Uh, some cases of application of this means are the following. During the study of number theoretical functions, triangle and perfect numbers are considered. During the study of congruence classes, groups and the rings are inter introduced, although the appropriate topics are considered later. Studying vector spaces with inner product and orthogonal systems of vectors in them, we take as an example the space of functions continues on a segment with a system of orthogonal trigonometrical polynomials as a base, the expansion of functions in a Fourier series, leading up to practical applications such as in the study of waves and musical sounds. Considering continuous fractions for the strengthening of the effect, we consider also infinite continued fractions and their applications for rational approximations, expansion of a square root into a continued fraction. In the golden section, also various practical applications of those fractions. Uh, in this work, we have described how to apply a system of concentrated teaching in the design of a mathematical discipline. So far, we successfully realized this system, combining it with the genetic approach in the algebra and number theory in undergraduate and master courses at the pedagogical university. Our experience has shown that not only mathematical knowledge of students taught by new method has been improved, but their mathematical beliefs seriously changed and became more progressive and appropriate for modern teaching. Of course, the concentrated teaching can be applied for the teaching of other mathematical topics and mathematical disciplines. And here are some uh, references, and I uh, uh, thank everybody for your attention. <coughs> And thank you very much. Um, uh, the questions, please. Yes. I would uh, like if you can explicate a bit uh, the genetic element that you bring. Uh, how is it genetic? And uh, these elements. Uh, how were they picked up as the primary, primordial, how to put it, elements? Uh, what is it that justifies mm -hmm. for you the genetic element of mm -hmm. the whole <coughs> study? Uh, uh, genetic uh, approach to the teaching is a very complex thing. Uh, 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 you know that uh, earlier, uh, say in the uh, 19th century, uh, genetic approach was uh, understood uh, more as a historic genetic approach. And there was uh, the uh, theory of uh, 
the capitulation uh, that uh, <coughs> uh, ontogenesis uh, uh, repeats uh, phylogenesis, but uh, now it is not the case. Uh, generic approach doesn't reduce to, the, to, to, to historic one, and uh, it is a complex thing uh, that includes uh, psychological elements, uh, so, uh, social cultural and logical elements, and uh, it uh, uh, in, in uh, studies, uh, 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 namely natural ways of uh, developing, uh, say, uh, no uh, mathematical knowledge, mathematical concepts in uh, in students' mind, and. Uh <coughs> Uh, uh, the, there are uh, many, um, uh, many uh, works about genetic approach now, uh, for example, by Gerd Schubring, uh, say, and uh, uh, Eric Christian Wittmann, it is a prominent mathematics educator from D uh, Dortmund in Germany. Uh, uh, in his book, uh, Grundfragen, f uh, uh, mathematic didactic. Uh, there is a, a, a l large chapter about genetic approach to the teaching, and he uh, argues that it is um, um <coughs> most appropriate for for modern teaching. And uh, 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 uh <coughs> of course, uh, the genetic. Uh, teaching now uh, it uh, incorporates uh, the achievements of uh, new educational theories such as uh, Piagetti, uh, Piagetti and construct constructivism and activity theory in the Vygotskian framework and uh, say uh, uh, results of uh, Dubinsky uh, a post theory action process object and uh, uh, scheme and uh, activities usually uh, most uh, appropriate are works of uh, Leontief and so on. Uh, so uh, <coughs> in, this, uh, in previous works I elaborated some uh, uh, <coughs> uh, some proposals f how uh, uh, offered some proposals how to elaborate uh, some uh, topics in uh, advanced mathematics, uh, say in uh, algebra, uh, by a genetic approach. <coughs> uh, it is uh, there will be uh, very thorough elaborations from many points of view, uh, including psychological, social, cultural, logical, and uh, historical as well. <coughs> Is genetic understood as a reactivation of a concept that already exists in the in mathematics? In yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yes, yes, mm -hmm. uh -huh, yes, uh -huh. and uh, it is close for, uh, to some uh, to some works of uh, uh, French didacticians, uh, say uh, Jean-Luc Dorier. He uh, he wrote v very much about. Uh, how to teach uh, linear algebra and uh, similar topics uh, and uh, using genetic approach too. <coughs> Any other questions? Can you give an example of your course? Of what? Of your course, an example. I would like to see an example. How did you manage it in your course of higher education? No uh, matter which one. No, uh, I, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, my example is uh, algebra and number theory course. Number, uh, algebra and number theory course. And uh, I have shown uh, here uh, how I um, used uh, the elements of concentrated uh, teaching that I, uh, that I uh, 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 that I indicated uh, in uh, in our course. Uh, 
uh, algebra and num uh, uh, algebra and number theory course. Uh, we uh, usually we uh, started with uh, elements of number theory, uh, say uh, theory of uh, divisibility of uh, integer of integers. Uh, 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 pri uh, prime numbers and uh, uh, the uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic uh, and, uh, and uh, Euclid's algorithm and so on. And uh, uh, later, uh, later we can use the, uh, these uh, it, uh, these elements of number theory. They anticipate uh, the late. Later study of uh, rings and uh, Euclidean rings, uh, and uh, in, uh, in the second year uh, we uh, uh, we teach uh, rings and Euclidean rings, and after that uh, we pass to the polynomial theory, and uh, so uh, these uh, three levels. First level is number theory. Second level is uh, rings theory and uh, Euclid, uh, Euclidean rings theory, and the third level is polynomial theory. Uh, they, uh, in some extent, they repeat each other, and so uh, the first uh, in the first year elements of number theory they anticipate uh, the study of uh, rings and Euclidean rings later and. Uh, 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 even uh, later, uh, the theory of polynomials. <coughs> so, do you make it explicit? Huh? So, uh, do you make anticipations explicit in during the teaching course? Or yes, yes. In, in, in some in, in some extent, uh, in some extent, yeah. uh, explicit. Yes. Uh, and later. The students uh, try to yes. build on that. Or yes, yes, and uh, uh, when uh, and later the students remember that uh, that we uh, uh, that earlier we uh, these elements uh, have been anticipated. <coughs> yes. So, uh, any other questions? Thank you for your presentation. You said something about uh, students' achievement, some better achievement compared to a regular delivery of the course. Is it correct? Yes, uh, I, 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 can, uh, I can say that certainly students' achievements were much better than in the usual approaches. And, and my question was, was it based on their perception or for their assessment, formal assessment, or...? Yes, uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have assessed the, the, their achievements, uh, yes, several times, and uh, 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 we uh, compared uh, the students. Uh, for example, uh, sometimes we uh, uh, taught the students of the same year uh, uh, different groups by two, uh, two approaches and compared their achievements. Sometimes we compared the achievements of students of uh, in different years of study, but uh, 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 always the students that were taught by uh, our approach, uh, they have uh, better achievements, yes. So there was a formal, a formal assessment, we, right? uh, for Formal assessment uh, by uh, tests and so, so on, uh, test, and uh, also uh, some questionnaires uh, connected to their views of mathematics and mathematics teaching. <coughs> Thank you. Some more questions? If you need to correct me if I got it wrong, but I, th I feel that the genetic approach that you are putting is like preparing a path that you expect the students to step on certain sp steps in order to arrive at a certain understanding. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, have you noticed uh, students who, for some reason, uh, don't uh, follow the path uh, in a nice way or how you expect it? And how do you uh, uh, resolve, if you like, uh, 
discordances of such kind? Uh, in, in our situation, uh, there is a uh, serious problem that some students don't have enough motivation for, for study, and uh, I think in these cases they cannot follow up. Yes. <coughs> У меня, если можно, спасибо вам большое, во-первых, за очень интересный доклад. И как все интересные вещи, возникает много вопросов. И хочется есть о чем подумать. Первый вопрос у меня вот какой связан. Интересный, значит, ваш подход к генетическим обучением. Но вот сейчас часто, часто в современной литературе используется подход, который вслед за Выгодским, Давыдовым и так далее, называется каузально-генетическим. Видите ли вы какую-то дифференциацию различия между двумя этими подходами? Ну, я именно вот такой термин, честно говоря, я не встречал, поэтому, если вы поясните, может, я бы лучше ответил. Ну, то есть, у Выгодского была идея, он говорил, кто поймет клеточку психологии, тот найдет ключ ко всей современной психологии. То есть, надо не как, а вот, математика строится на аристотелевской логике, да, на элементы раскладывается, а из одного вырастить, генетически вырастить вот элемент, взять одно понятие, mm -hmm. как, скажем, Давыдов берет, например, у себя понятие mm -hmm. отношения. Отношение величины к мере – это число отношения mm -hmm. двух чисел, функции, ну и так далее. Mm -hmm. И все через отношения там выстраивают всю математику. А, я понял, да. Uh, uh, I think th 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 there is some truth in that, but uh, uh, I think that genetic approach is much more complex one than than uh, mere, uh, causal genetic approach. Мне кажется, все намного сложнее все-таки. Спасибо еще. Значит, один вопрос в связи с этим. Вот из литературы известно, что в курсе алгебры, скажем, теории чисел, сравнения, там все эти решетки там, и так далее, это как-то полегче устраивает студентам. Но там есть такие абстрактные вещи, алгебрические структуры, группы, подгруппы, эти, полугруппы, кольца, поля и так далее. Вот это наиболее сложное, как показывают исследования, что устраивает. И вот как школьники, например, говорят, что квадрат – это не прямоугольник, так студенты, вот такие известные факты, считают, что, скажем, поле не является кольцом, потому что поле – это действительных чисел, а кольцо – это целых чисел, поскольку целых чисел вроде как поменьше, счетное множество, да, а там континуум, то они вот такие вещи получают. А как вы используете свой подход очень интересный? Могли бы вы привести пример вот к абстрактным этим вещам, там, полугруппам, кольцам, полям и так далее? Ну, э, я давайте сначала по-русски вам отвечу. Э, здесь эта вещь очень сложная, потому что вот раньше, когда преподавали алгебру, иногда давали поля раньше, чем кольца, и пол возникала полная путаница вот во времена, э, скажем, э, Окунева, там, когда еще Сушкевичи были. Э, э, но сейчас, вот, скажем, когда мы преподаем, э, мы просто даем сначала, э, э, скажем, э, Поскольку, скажем, рациональные действительные числа идут после целых, то, естественно, когда мы даем сначала понятие кольца, а потом уже понятие, скажем, тела или поля, то студенты, то есть они все-таки не маленькие дети, у них такой путаницы уже не возникает. То есть, я не, по крайней мере, я не сталкивался. Вот я думаю, возможно, раньше это было, вот когда вот в 60-е годы, когда не устоялось преподавание абстрактной алгебры. Вот, и тогда вот были вот эти ошибочные подходы, когда начинали с полей, например. What? Uh, uh, the question was, uh, uh, is it uh, when uh, one concept is, uh, uh, say, included in to other, for example, the, uh, uh, the, the field is a uh, uh, particular case of a, of a ring, uh, some, uh, some student may, may confuse and uh, say that 
uh, the field is not not adding because uh, the uh, uh, say uh, the rational or uh, uh, or real numbers are not the same as integers, but uh, I think that uh, if uh, we uh, uh, we teach uh, in uh, in proper uh, order and uh, we uh, we give say uh, the uh, the concept of a ring and then we distinguish uh, fields in 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 the class of rings. The students may, uh, usually do, do not confuse. Еще один коротенький такой вопрос, просто очень быстро было, и я не заметил. У вас вот девять этапов, да? Ну, это не девять этапов, это как бы девять элементов предлагаемых. Девять элементов, да? Да. Ну, можно и больше. Понятно. Вот я не уловил, может, вы подскажете это? Просто быстро было очень. Основание для этой классификации? Основание... Uh, ну, uh, основание, основание, uh, основание этой классификации, uh, вот так, если честно говоря, uh, я брал много вот, uh, работ uh, по исследованию, вот я, как упомянул, Жалковский и Щеголов, они литературу исследовали, потом был такой uh, Мазель, автор, он исследовал музыку, и вот uh, я взял в основном вот из тех попыток, которые они исследовали для из, э, они рассматривали для исследования воздействия на читателя, там, на слушателя, на зрителя. И вот то, что именно подходит к преподаванию математики, вот именно вот в, в том плане, что если рассматривать преподавание как искусство. Вот. Из, из этих соображений. Спасибо. И последнее, вот такое суждение, уже даже не вопрос. Значит, детей в школе обманывают и говорят, что повторение – мать учения. Ага. Это Авиди сказал, он, он не так говорил. Он говорил, что повторение – мать учения и прибежище от слов – утешение дураков. Берут только первую строчку и рассказывают. Это очень глупый способ. Вот мне показалось, это мое мнение, согласитесь вы с ним или нет, но мне кажется, у вас не повторение, у вас обобщение в вашем обучении. Это гораздо более высокий уровень. Ага. Is it that uh, repetition that I mentioned is not just a repetition, but a generalization? Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, any other questions? Um, may I make the, the final remark? Um, mm. Can you put the last slide, the, the last one? Uh, with references? Uh, with bi bi bibli bibliography. This one? No, 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 the next. No, no, the, oh. the last, the last with bibliography. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. What the, uh, the author Linda about the historic genetic method. So that um, the reason this uh, couple also uh, the word historic, so historical. Mm -hmm. So the genetical method is uh, couplet associated with the uh, history mm -hmm. and now I return to the uh, to your remarks about uh, that uh, <coughs> phylogenetic uh, pro, uh, uh, phylogenesis didn't match ontogenesis and th this is a good example that here we should not abuse historical approach because <laughs> introducing the uh, the notion of group it will be foolish to start with the theory of Galois mm -hmm. that was at the source of this theory of group. But uh, it's uh, a more easy and simplest way to start with the group of substitution of the, something like that, which very simple objects. So that w we should uh, uh, be uh, more cautious about historical approach, that we should select what we can use and what we should not use. Uh, uh, thank you very much for your attention. The session is closed. Thank you.